All right. I was thinking, because I sometimes don't pay attention to the things I say, I was thinking that I should address uh, whether or not we can talk to dead people. Um, because I did mention the other day when I had an image of somebody's um, uh, crocheted blanket, a green and white blanket. Um, and I, I think I did say, like, maybe your grandma wants to say hi. Um, I say things. I don't actually believe that... Well, I don't want to say it can't be done because it can't, okay? And I don't know the location of um, spirits essentially, even though Ecclesiastes, I think it's 12, 7 or 9 or something, says that the spirit um, returns to God where it came when the human dies. Um, and Ecclesiastes 9, Ecclesiastes 9, 5 says that, says the dead know nothing um, and that they no longer love or hate. They don't have emotions anymore. Um, so, there are a couple different ways that the Bible talks about any communication with dead people. And for the most part, well, for every part, I mean, it's, it says that we, sh we should not consult with the dead. Um, that it's an abomination. And the reason is that we should consult with God. Um, and our bridge to the spiritual world is Jesus. If you are a Christian, um, it, it really is no matter what, but um, as far as Christians go, we are not to consult the dead. Um, we know that it can be done according to the Bible because we know that Saul in 1 Samuel chapter 28, um, when he was praying to God as far as what to do, God was not answering him. And not in dreams, not in visions, uh, not with a prophet. And so in desperation, he goes to a woman who can conjure up spirits. And he himself had banished wizards and sorcerers and conjurers of spirits. Um, so it was against the law for him to do this. And that was a law that he made um, according to the word of God. So... But he's desperate. He doesn't know what to do. And God's not talking to him. So he goes to a woman and convinces her that no harm will come to her. If he wants to conjure up the spirit of Samuel, who was God's people, so that he can ask Samuel what to do. So <clears throat> this woman does conjure up the spirit of Samuel. And Samuel tells Saul that... He should have inquired of God that he shouldn't be disturbing the spirits. Now, that tells us that, yes, it can be done. Um, doesn't say exactly how it's done. Um, I know that the Bible does say that when we encounter a spirit, we should inquire whether it is of God. Um... In a, you know, a spirit that's not of God will deny that Jesus Christ is the Savior. Um, so there's a difference between, you know, there are different kinds of spirits, okay? There are, there are angels that do communicate with man. Um, you know, we can have dreams. God can communicate uh, with us through our dreams um, or through prophecy. And it says in the end times, we know this is a new generation because it's happening all over. You know, God says that he will pour out his spirit on all the people. And we have to be able to discern using what we know, um, what is okay for us to do, what is okay for us not to do. Okay. Um, and he says that we should not consult the dead. Uh, because we should seek his counsel. Um, 
doesn't say, I mean, I don't know if that specifically means like communicating at all with the dead, though I don't see what would be the point if they don't have feelings and emotions. Now, consider time is an earth thing, um, you know, and time on our terms is not God's terms. And um, that doesn't mean, you know, I don't believe that, that a spirit is bound to any particular area, right? We, we don't know that. Um, we do know in the story of the rich man and Lazarus that, you know, a lot of people argue that spirits can't come into this world because um, the rich man is speaking to Abraham, who is in the spirit world in heaven, and um, Lazarus, who died poor, you know, and suffered his whole life, goes straight to Abraham's bosom when he dies. And so the rich man, who didn't listen to the scriptures, didn't listen to the law of Moses, didn't help Lazarus, um, is begging in the story for Lazarus, you know, to send La for Abraham to send Lazarus to like dip his finger in the water and cool his tongue because he's burning in hell. And uh, Abraham says no. And then he says, well, at least send Lazarus to my brothers. Um, and at least, you know, surely they would listen to him if it comes from a spirit. Um, but Abraham says no. They have the law of Moses and the prophets. Um, and that's where they should get the truth. So we need to consider that we're talking about the spirit world here and not the living. So um, it does say that there is a chasm, there's a gulf between heaven and earth that, you know, the spirits from heaven cannot go to hell. Like, um, it doesn't say they can't go to earth. It doesn't say they can't go to our dimension. It doesn't say they can. It doesn't say they can't. But apparently they can be conjured up and they can be viewed from this dimension. It doesn't mean they're here. Um, also in the same, you know, the same thing with uh, certain kinds of divination, you know, when a, when a medium contacts a spirit, you know, we don't, it's not like they see them walking around as if they're a person. And I know sometimes people see those and see ghosts. Um, I've never seen a ghost. Um, I have experienced presences but I've never seen with my eyes a ghost um, or spoken to one with words. Um, and if a, a dead person doesn't have thoughts or feelings and their energy goes back to God, now it does say there will be a resurrection and the, you know the bodies will be resurrected. So I don't know how permanent that situation is or if you're particular consciousness just dissolves. It says their memory is wiped when they die. So, I mean, who needs a memory of the earth? Like, who needs it, you know? So, I don't think we can depend on, you know, conjuring up spirits. Like, there's a good chance that you're conjuring up demons um, for the purpose of deception. And they, they may feel good and it may be a loving presence, you know, but Satan can disguise himself as an angel of light. And so, bottom line, if you're a believer, if you're a Christian person, God says no. We may not consult with the dead. Um, we can talk to God. As far as divination, um, you know, the before Jesus, I guess and after, so the, the casting lots was a thing it was kind of like, uh, you know, as I understand that a yes or no thing, something that they did. And that's how, you know, one way that God could communicate with the people. Um, uh, Urim and Thummim, whatever, on the breastplate of the high priest. The high priest was allowed this kind of divination, um, you know, and communication from God. And people who Jesus or his apostles... Uh, blessed with the Holy Spirit could perform miracles. Now God says in the end days that there will be false prophets and false Christ and there will be a lot of people who are able to perform miracles. Um, so we have to be able 
to discern what is what God says we should do and what we shouldn't do because it's like this window is open to the spirit world and there are deceptive entities that as long as you're not doing what God said you should do, you know, it's going to be, life is grand and you have all this power and you have all this ability and it's, you know, probably really blissful for you, you know, but as a Christian person, um, there's only one way we are supposed to come to this abundance and that is through Christ and through a lot of study and there's a process to get there and it's a like a gradual process you know you learn more you know more and um, you have to be responsible with what you do so it's not that it's hocus pocus so that divination is not a thing it certainly is it's not that the spirit world is not a thing it certainly is and even having you know seen into the spirit world having walked around in it um, I have never seen my grandma or grandpa walking around um that's just not what it is uh so and that's not something that you should do um you know when i was a lot younger and had these natural abilities that i had no control over um i didn't understand them i didn't know what it was or how it was happening um you know that's a really scary thing and it's not a place you want to go wandering around just to explore um so also you need to understand that um, in the book of Revelation it isn't clear that you know when God says you know a third of the stars is cast down to the earth um, I don't really see evidence that that necessarily means that those are fallen angels um, you know, there is a lot of evidence that does point to other like celestial beings and teachers and things that inhabit the earth. Like, I don't know, I'm asking, I'm studying, you know, but I don't know, it's possible. It's possible that there are people, you know, or entities inhabiting the earth that are not of this earth. You know, Jesus was not of this world. And he says, you know, people that believe in him eventually, you know, when, uh, you know, at the second coming, when we're redeemed, we'll be like him, you know, and uh, like the angels. We, we're we not there. We don't know what that's going to mean. Um, but you need to know through your communication with God, you know, to practice within what he reveals to you and to know the scripture and understand the scripture and, uh, you know, check everything with God so that you're not deceived because it says that even you know there <laughs> there will be a lot of <laughs> deception and and believers will be deceived um, and he said you know even some of the elect would be deceived if it were possible he says if it were possible you know um, so that's got to be a tricky situation so um, I think just be aware. I can't tell anyone what to do. You know, whatever, whatever God gives another person permission to do is not, it's not my business. Um, but I can share what I understand. I can share my experience. I know what I will never do again. Um, that's all. Um, I know there are a lot of mediums and there are a lot of people that you know, and on TV especially. And you know, I, like, I'm not saying it's not real not saying we can't do it I'm saying that God says according to the Bible that we may not um, and there's good reason for that so that's what I have today please like share and subscribe if you have any questions um, I will do my best to help you understand if you care especially if you have questions about you know um, spiritualism and divination and things like that um, this is something that I have experience and knowledge with it is something that I think people need to be very careful of and um, you know I'd be happy to share what I do and what I do not know I love you very much God loves you have a wonderful day